Greetings from the far side of the galaxy, I'm Fury, your host the most here to bring you a story about titties. Earlier this week, I posted this to my community page asking which Asamo character would you like to date? A simple question that got many answers, like the first one here. Oniwaka, because I feel like if we saw a dog walking by, we would both say doggy in that cute tone for animals. Honestly, that's probably my favorite fact about Oniwaka. He looks so intimidating, yet he's so weak to cute things. He even has a loading screen with Q-Sith making fun of him for that. The next comment reads, I'd say Oguchi Magami. He's so cute and such a good boy and one of the best dogs, not above Garm. He's the best boy. I'd give Magami all the hugs and pets in the world. While you may have a point about Agochi being cute, you also say that like he's not from the most forgettable event in this game. Honestly, I forget he's even a part of it. I'd probably forget the event too if it wasn't where Arachne got a limited unit. Reaching into the hat, swirling around my hands, and pulling out this comment, I would definitely date Sathogua since I relate to him most. Although, Yasuyori would be a nice alternative. I can see him as a protective male wife who cooks and cleans to wipe away his trauma in the Warmongers chapter. While I get Sathogua, I feel like I have a clip from Dragon Ball Z Abridge for this situation lying around here, uh, somewhere. Oh. Here we go. Oh, please. There's not a shriek qualified enough to deal with that hot mess. Like, I love Yasuyori as much as the next guy, but I don't think you thought about how much work would go into having just a decent relationship with this man. The next comment I just kind of found lying around is this one. Either Masanori or Enigma, their personalities are most compatible with mine, and I like them design-wise. While I'm not going to judge you for Enigma, not from lack of one, but out of lack of knowing anything about him, I am gonna judge you for Masanori. Didn't he literally dox the player? This next comment found me on my way home and stole my lunch money. I would date Ellie, to be honest. I mean, who wouldn't want to be dominant? I mean, she looks like a really fun and chill gal. And I think she's one of the most stable characters in the game, Lamau. Saves me from the complicated stuffs. You want to get pegged, and honestly, I'm a little torn on how I want to respond to this. On one hand, I want to say, he's just like me for real, and I also want to say, based, so I decided to do both. Wow, he's based like me for real. I managed to find this next comment in the dumpster. The shy bookworm that loves to blue ball you. Listen, if you're into Shiro, you're just gonna have to accept that he's into that. If the two of you ever want to spend a long time together, then you're gonna have to invite Ryota to your room so he has something to watch. The next comment is kind of long, so I'm gonna need to take a breath. <gasps> I'd personally go for Shino slash Yatsutsufusa. While I am a sucker for long hair on guys and his body and aesthetics are peak, I also enjoyed the mystery element to his character when he was first introduced and his unwavering loyalty to the protagonist. Our best days will be spent in his tea shop, watching his kids be absolute maniacs and hate each other. A few things to say here. 1. His body? Shino is shaped like an egg, and I'm not using a euphemism or slang or anything, he is literally shaped like a literal egg. And two, while you may be right about everything else, Shino is also a maniac. You remember the Jamboree event? Moritaka wouldn't have even been a part of that if Shino didn't knock him out, tie him up, and ship him to the damn event. He's insane. I found the next comment growing in my garden. Bolos, definitely. He's really a cute guy to be with, and I find him personally endearing. Besides, his passion for agriculture is really interesting. I relate to him personally during the Halloween event. Honestly, I wouldn't really know because I've been trying to get through that Halloween event for like the past two or three months. There's a reason it's been the background of my videos for such a long time. I found the next comment in my box of double stuffed Oreos, wink wink. Moritaka and Shino, yes, both at the same time, poly for life. Yes, they deserve all the happiness, yes, I would give them both belly rubs. Really though, they both have been through stuff that they don't deserve and I want them to be happy. Also, Shino didn't deserve to die, that scene made me so sad. 
Gee, spoiler alert. Before I reuse the he's based just like me for real meme, I want to clarify something. When you say you want both Moritaka and Shino at the same time, you mean a date, right? Right? The next comment was found in the comment section. Not every single one of them can come from some weird place, you know? I'm going for Seth. Honestly, he has a personality that I'll vibe with, and all the times that he tries to act tough for the MC and later failing, it's just adorable. Seth is in a very similar spot to me as Yasuyori in that I think a lot of the people who want to date Seth haven't actually thought about what it'd be like to date Seth. Seth has spawned two different shadows on two different occasions. Keep in mind, most people don't even have one. If you want to date Seth, go ahead, but you may be rethinking things when the waiter asks him super salad and you're fighting the sixth shadow this week. Since we're about halfway through the video, I have no idea how long I want this to be, I'm guesstimating here. Let me ask that you please like and subscribe, tune into my live streams on Mondays and Fridays, and donate to my Ko-fi and Patreon. The next comment is Kimun Kamui. It's sort of like a two for one deal even. This comment is pretty on point because dating Kimon Kamui is like buying a bikini on sale. Buy one top and you get a free bottom. Pulling up with the next comment, Batham. He's hot and sweet? Sure, he's a flirt and tease, but he would absolutely spoil his partner with whatever they want and take them someplace new whenever they go out. I love my beloved Batham. Also, but, Lamau. This might be my hot take for the day, but honestly, I never really saw the appeal of Batham. There's nothing bad about him, but there's also nothing really good. If Horku Kamui is a perfectly average C, then Batham is like a C+. And you know what's really ironic? Despite not liking Batham, I managed to get every single one of his units. Eat your hearts out. The next comment came in from an unnamed sender. It would be definitely. He is just a cinnamon roll that could talk for hours about growing pumpkins and plants. I would love it to be my boyfriend to hear how he talks about plants for hour. The bad thing is that he only appears in Halloween events. I have no idea who this definitely character might be, but let's just hope he gets some love from Life Wonders. The next comment is, huh? You have spelled wood wrong. Huh. Surprised you're the only person to mention that. Our final comment of the day is actually my favorite out of them all. Easy. Sethogus. He just like me for real. From misspelling Sethogwa to the Comey Ram to even referencing a meme. If it was just one or two of those things, this wouldn't even be that funny. But altogether, it's just perfect. That's all the time I have for comments today, but we still have to do our Patreon shoutouts. For our three stars, we have special thanks to 87 Werehog, Deku, Zora Chow, Jaron, Garen LeFay, Dragon King Yara, Anon RC, Lightning Shadow, and Kayun. For four stars, we have Miki Moon, the Melon Slayer. And for our Super D Tooper special five star shoutouts, we have First Vanilla Flower, the descendant of the Grey Wolf. Then, Poor Mage, the Master Thief. Next, Sky King 64, the Claws of Punishment. And finally, Mahogasaur, the Festival Gourmand. Thank you all for watching. Do be sure to like and subscribe and donate to my Kofi and Patreon. As always, this is Joe's Fury signing out.